Good morning. Welcome to another uh, daily devotion here at St. Paul's. It's always an interesting thing, but it's it's an important thing, I think, in some ways. Graduates, you think about them, they, they have a little bit of a swagger, a little bit of confidence, don't they? It's interesting, though. They're, they're people that are going on to further education, and they're no longer going to be the smartest people in their school as they once were. You know, they're well-educated. Some will be going off into the work field, but they'll be going into a field where they have just learned the basics and haven't applied it fully and thoroughly like perhaps their, their co-workers will have. Such confidence. Is it misplaced? We've been looking at the blessing that God gave through Moses to the people of Israel. And it's for us. It's what we hear at the end of our worship services. And there's always one word that we say at the very end. And so we're going to say that one word after we read these verses. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord, the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen is that word that we added. It means, yes, it shall be so, or certainly, indeed, verily I say unto you. It's that idea of this is certain. As a Christian, as a graduate who is a Christian, as you and I are Christians who live in this world, it is a sinful world. It is hostile to God. It does not want anything to do with God and His word and His will. It is a world in which we know when we walk out into it, there will be people who will attack us and want the very worst for us. And yet we can be, like a graduate in some ways, confident. But not a false confidence. Not a confidence that just says, I can do this. But a confidence in knowing who is with us. What a great week we've had in devotion to be able to just remind ourselves the Holy Spirit. He is that sanctifier, the one who sets us apart from this world. And he does that because of Christ. He was sent because Christ has won for us salvation. In his grace, Jesus has shown God's love upon us by becoming one with us and sacrificing himself on the cross. And every day we can walk out with confidence, with certainty of who we are because of Christ. And that certainty then leads us to know exactly what the Father is going to do for us this day. He will preserve us, providing for our physical needs. He will protect us. He will be the one who will watch over this created world for you and for me as God's people. Graduates get to go forward with all this confidence. They are not the experts in their fields yet. They're not fully trained and know all things, but they can be confident of this. Their Lord is with them. God's love, God's grace, and God's peace is with them wherever they go whatever tasks they begin after this. And so it is with us each and every day. You and I get to go out and hear and be and live in the blessing of our Lord. So here again the words, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord, Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Let's pray. O oh, Triune God, you promise, your promises are true. Your promises of love, grace, and peace are always true. Do not allow the stresses of this world, the trials of the flesh, the temptations of the devil, to rob us of the certainty of your promises. Direct our hearts and minds to your blessings regularly, so that we live our lives saying, Amen, to all that you have given and all that you promise. All glory be to you, O Father, our Creator, O Jesus, our Redeemer, and O Holy Spirit, our sanctifier. Amen. God's grace, mercy, and peace be yours in abundance through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.